Some people want to save up money and pay cash for land. Let's say you have a large amount of money saved up and you've found something you like. Now what? I'm going to show you how to pay cash for land step by step. Step one, you have to make an offer to the seller in writing. If you are using a real estate agent, they will write the offer. But if you're submitting the offer yourself to a private seller without using a real estate agent, you need to search online for a contract. Real estate contracts are state specific. So make sure you get the contract for the state that the house or property is in. The contract might be a little long to fill out, but it is worth it. Using a state-specific contract is protection for you, just in case things go wrong. When you put in a cash offer, don't be surprised if the seller asks to see a bank statement to prove you have the money. So just have that on hand when submitting your offer. Here are a few things you have to discuss with the seller before you fill out the contract. A deposit. When you submit an offer, you also give a deposit. The reason for the deposit is to prove you're not just a tire kicker wasting the seller's time. When making a cash offer though, you have an advantage and can agree on a low deposit price. Let's say $100. Just try to make it low. Contingencies. Contingencies are a provision for an unforeseen event or circumstance. Examples of contingencies you will add to your contract offer are things like passing a termite inspection, a black mold, well, or septic inspection. Your offer contract is the time to get everything down in writing. The contract will state a time limit to get that all done, something like 10, uh, 15 to 30 days. If something fails inspections, you don't have to back out of the contract, but now is the time that you could legally back out of the contract. But don't be too quick. Because on the other hand, you can now go back to the seller with the information and you can ask for a lower price. You have some negotiation power to get a better deal. Just remember, a long, ridiculous list of contingencies is not going to look good to the seller. So be reasonable. Once you and the seller have agreed on everything and you're ready to close the deal, contact a title company, let them run a title search, and when that comes back clean, you're ready to make a date and set up the closing. Yay! You're going to be a property owner! Buying land with cash is possible because in my book, I tell you some amazing places to find cheap land deals. It's called Becky's Guide to Buying Land and the link is in the description.